All right, coming to you live from Seattle and DockerCon. I'm here with Mike Steinberg of EMC. Mike, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. When well, we're standing in front of something, dun, da, 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 VX Rack. What the heck is VX Rack? So VX Rack is uh, EMC's hyperconverged platform built for the data center, right? So this is a software-defined storage platform. This includes scale I.O. storage in this particular flavor. There's two flavors. One con consumes a, consists of scale I.O., and another one consists of VMware vSAN. This particular model is running scale I.O., software-defined storage. It also is hyper-converged, so it runs the compute on the same nodes as the storage. Um, the compute on here is x86, okay, and the software layer is either VMware, you can get it in KVM flavors, or you can get it in a bare metal flavor as well. And speaking of software, where does um, uh, Cloud Foundry fit in here? So Cloud Foundry is a part of our pivotal part of our pivotal co company, and Cloud Foundry is really part of NHC as well, right? So the native hybrid cloud offering consists of pivotal Cloud Foundry as the platform as a service layer. It also consists of a lot of management uh, and dashboards that allow people to consume pivotal in a more enterprise fashion. So you can definitely go and you can download pivotal today. You can use it. Um, the native hybrid cloud offering from EMC allows you to consume it um, with a lot of pre-built dashboards and management and instrumentation included. And this is the preferred platform for uh, NHC from an EMC perspective. Very cool. Well, now, that was the front. You mind taking us around back and showing it what it looks like? Sure, absolutely. So a couple of things. That when you look, when you're looking at the rack here, um, all the VC systems, uh, the V blocks and the VX rack, ship like this in the factory, right? So when you buy one of these systems, we build it to your specification in this rack. Uh, not only do we build it in, in this rack, but we also take the software components, so the hypervisor, the storage, and the networking, etc., configure it per your requirements. When we ship this to you, it shows up at your dock like this. Somebody from EMC comes, they plug it into the wall and then it's ready to go, right? So you don't have mountains of styrofoam and cardboard to unpack and connect. Basically, this comes ready to go, so your, your time to value is, is significantly reduced. From a hardware perspective, you obviously have redundant power in here. The networking is, is flexible. We've got Cisco 3Ks in here, which are your access switches, okay? So the nodes plug into the access switches. We also have Cisco 9Ks if you need to grow and you want to grow into a spine and leaf architecture. The 9Ks are here as well. You can, you can leverage that. There's a dedicated management switch for a lot of the management monitoring that we do. Okay, and then of course you have your nodes down here. Okay, these are x86 servers, and they are, like I said, hyper-converged. There are three different types of servers you can get. You can get, you can get dense compute, which is basically four nodes in one enclosure. You can get hybrid, which is compute and storage. Okay, so that's your, that's your hyper-converged offering. And there's also storage-only nodes, and the storage-only nodes come um, purely in a configuration which allows you to use scale I.O. The nice thing about this platform is you can grow asymmetrically, right? So if you need more compute, you can just buy compute. If you need more storage, you can just buy storage. It allows you to mix and match. Very cool. And then just to end with, Mike, what's, uh, what's in the future for VX Rack? So this is really our, you know, this is one of the platforms we're spending a lot of time and effort on to evolve, right? So what we're looking at here is a platform. It's been around about a year but we continue to invest in this, right? For software-defined storage, for things like containerization, for things like platform as a service, we are constantly evolving this to handle more use cases. The management software is getting more robust. A lot of the um, provisioning tools are getting more robust. There's a RESTful API in here. So this is really today, if you're looking to build a greenfield software-defined data center, this would be the platform that you know you would probably want to take a serious look at. This is the only platform today, the first and only platform that goes what we call rack scale. With scale I.O., we can grow this to a thousand nodes. Okay, it, it scales well beyond the appliances today. Awesome. Mike Steinberg, thanks so much. Thank you.